Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh First of all, I would like to say thank you to T.S. Ahmad Hakimi and T.S. Muhammad Erwan for your time to listen for our presentation today So, for our final year project title is Production of Auto Photo Map Using UAV Photogrammetry in Utesh and Pago Residential College So, this is the group members of Group KA30 Let's start with group leader Muhammad Iqbal bin Azmidi with metric number AA200942 Next, Muhammad Hazi Aiman bin Faisal with metric number AA200601 And lastly, myself, Nur Zafira bin Tizaini with metric number AA200444 For background study of this project, maps present information about the world in a simple visual way. Maps can also show distribution of things over earth such as exact location of houses and streets in a city neighborhood. Many unskilled map users have trouble reading 2D topographic maps that show landscape features with contour lines, shaded relief and height points. So to overcome this problem, an auto photo map which is a larger scale map and only certain things are shown allows users to see dimensionality of the features. Next problem statement of this project. Based on our observation, Google Earth does not display in the latest image of Utesh and Pago Residential College. Currently, display in Google Earth does not have the latest added infrastructure and the image is blurry and not sharp. The conventional method have a high cost of operating the aircraft to take image from the above. So to overcome these problems, this project will be done by using UAV photogrammetry method to produce an auto photo map of the study area. The objective of this project first to capture study location images using UAV drones. Second, to process the auto photo image using UAV photogrammetry method. And lastly, to produce an auto photo map and analyze the quality of the map. Literature review for this project, I will start by explaining what is autophoto. Also known as autophotography is an aerial image that has been geometrically corrected or autorectified which leads to the image being uniform from edge to edge. A digital autophoto is an accurate representation of the earth's surface because of the geographic reference that makes each pixel in the photo accurately located. The figure below shows the procedure used to create digital auto photos. Starts with flight planning and aerial photography, then production of digital carry model and collection of feature data, and lastly auto rectification of digital aerial photographs. Okay, next you have been photogrammetry. In photogrammetric and remote sensing application, you have have become highly popular. These vehicles are employed in different applications, trains and job every day. The UAV have their respective benefits and obstacles. Okay, first, the benefit is highly accurate, complete tasks expeditiously and evolve technology. The obstacle of UAV is when takeoff and landing, size and layout of the area and wind resistance. Okay, for the methodology, uh, there are four methodology of this project. First, flight planning and preparation. Second, data gathering. Third, image processing. And the last is produce photo photo map. In flight planning and preparation, we plan the drone route. We divide the field area into a few sections and make sure the drone is in good condition and ready to use. In data gathering, uh, make sure the drone is in the right route and the drone start capturing image in the specified area. Okay, in image processing, we transfer image from drone to the computer and then process the image using ps 4 mapper software. Alright, next. And last, to produce the auto map, we use the ps 4 mapper and global mapper software. Okay, as we can see the results, and uh, this is a uh, auto photo map, the complete auto photo map of the Shahin Pago Residential College. Okay, for the discussion is first verification analysis of auto photo map. Okay, this activity is performed to see if the data retrieved match the on-site location where the results are considered valid. The landmark that was measured is the disabled car park 
in front of block A6 is the Shen Paku Residential College. In this part, the length and the areas are obtained from two sources, which is global mapper and fit measurements. Okay, this is the result. As you can see, the length of the Paku Part 1 in global mapper is 3.242 and on the field measurement is 3.485 the difference between the both measurement is 0 0.043 okay next the areas of disabled car part 2 in the paper is 16.792 and on the field measurement is 17.172 the difference between the both measurement is 0 0.380 now, I would like to present a discussion, recommendation and conclusions. Newly built facilities and infrastructures. We compare the Google Earth Satellite View and Autophoto from Global Mapper. This is because there are newly built facilities and infrastructures that did not exist in Google Earth captured by the UAV. If you can see the first image from Google Earth. The first picture is that there's no building on the sides because the development is just developing. And then the second image is our photo map from Global Mapper. It's an auto photo map where the image was taken using a drone. For the discussion practically of proto photo map, the post can be transformed into still image map then can perform the normal function of the map showing the allocation and orientation of the UTHM Pago Residential College. Then can be used to measure the length of any part of the auto photo map and can be zoomed in and out depending on the height of your choice. And last, the auto photo map has a future to be used for other further planning where it can help to identify and, de and develop area and to ensure a sustainable development inside the compound of Utah and Pago Residential College. Next, for the conclusion, throughout this project, it was discovered that the use of a micro unmanned aerial vehicle UAV may be used to create an orthophoto map in a far more cost effective and time efficient manner. The study is claimed to have met its goal since an orthophoto map of UTHM Pago Residential College was created and is now available to the public. The goal of our project is to produce a map of UTHM Pago Residential College that no longer exists in the Google Earth. The finding of the drone photo may be used to meet the, res the research needs and specifications, which is to create an auto photo map. With a UAV camera positioned vertically, 19 degrees, 549 images were taken. The auto photo map of UTHM Paco Residential College may be displayed in relation to the existing layout design and the satellite based Google Earth map to offer a clear perspective. Then for our recommendations, the first one is the UAV flight should not be booked during the raining season since to, since the drone is not waterproof will be destroyed if it comes into contact with water. Then the weather should be sunny rather than overcast. Use up to date DJI Go and Pix for the capture application. Each trip must be strate strategically planned to maximize battery usage. When utilizing Pix for the mapper software with an auto photo map, it, it is advised that you use a laptop with a lensing system such as one with a laptop with at least 32 gb of RAM and the, and the last one lower the height of the drone 
Lebanon so as not to interfere with the airways used by the aircraft.